packaging is, is very ubiquitous. It touches you know, almost every person on the planet. It affects things that human beings need to survive. Food, health care, personal care, all of that is packaged. Today, none of that has a lot of intelligence. But there are real concerns with a lot of those products. There's concern of spoilage. There's concerns of authenticity. Is this what I really thought I was getting? There's concerns of origin and where is this coming from? And a lot of things that the packaging can communicate with different types of intelligence and sensing, those packages can be much more dynamic and help in two ways. One way is, you know, don't throw this out even though it's past its expiry date. Or on the other side, that yogurt container that you just bought that is supposed to last two weeks actually hit a temperature that caused it to spoil and don't consume it. Those are types of examples that we suspect we'll see. You decide to buy a bottle of alcohol. You buy it and then you say, I don't know what to do. Instant think about it if the packaging on it is able to tell you one thing, how to make a cocktail. Two, when you actually scan it, it tells you, you really can make a cocktail which suits you this way because I know this is a type of cocktail you like and make. Here are the two other ingredients you need to buy and you're going to have it. So it's actually becoming a personalized assistant to you. What's already been tested now is this digital print. How can I you know, have my name on a, on a beverage bottle or can I, when I buy the, a jar of jam or something, how can I have my name on it or some kind of customized promotion, right? That kind of personalization will be important to, to drive the sales of goods. Where you could envision uh, the, the packaging changing to you know, you as a consumer has your own personalized container that can be reused over and over that your Instacart shopper picks up from your house, fills it with strawberries and brings it back to your house. And we may see more micro supply chains set up in certain communities that has a higher demand of consumer personalization and requirements for packaging to be sustainable and personalized to them and reusable. A great example people talk about is uh, vegetable based packaging. So think about it this way. You go buy a burger, you throw away the box. What happens if you can eat the box? What happens if you can heat up the box and put it into your soup? What if it's algae-based, if it's protein-based? And then you can reuse it, but not reuse it as to package it, but in a different application, you can end up eating it. Or your dog can end up eating it. So those are the kind of innovations I truly believe you're going to see in the next five years, 10 years, 15 years. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of packaging companies that are waiting for their customers to come and ask for something different. And the challenge with that is often when these customers want to ask for something different, they're going to a new converter. So there's a real opportunity for packaging converters to step ahead, understand how these trends are affecting consumers and therefore their customers, and come in with solutions. I think going forward, it needs to be a much more close partnerships with brand owners, with retailers with upstream recyclers, even downstream new type of customers like e-retailers to think through how is this packaging going to work in the value chain and how to develop this to really solve a pain point going forward. I think more and more of relocation of assets closer to customers or close by or even in-house will happen a lot. The point on innovation is not go attract 10 PhDs from Caltech and put them in Silicon Valley. It's about finding what is the biggest customer pain point that he or she is not able to solve. Two, how do you solve it, but not solve alone, but solve with an ecosystem, solve it with a partner. And then third, get your organization to act. Go do it, and when you fail, fail fast. And so it's about getting your organization to be agile, to really be customer-backed. And if you fail, that's okay. Learn from it and move fast.